God bless you. Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. God the Father sent his Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to take away all our sins. We who believe, you got to believe. You got to believe him to do so. You got to obey him. If you believe him, you obey him. Now he said repent. Now he said go sin no more. Now he said abide in his word. Then are you his disciples indeed. He said I came not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. He said believe him. He said, this is the blood of the New Testament, his blood. It's the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for me for the remission. They were remission, remission of sin. That be take away. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pray, God believe one verse say, hallelujah, hallelujah. He, he puts your sins. Hallelujah, in the sea of forgetfulness and remember them no more. And or I will remember their sin no more. Now, if he's not going to remember your sin no more, when you come to him, when you believe him to take away your sin for the remission of your sin, believe his blood to clean you from all sin, if he's not going to remember your sin no more, okay, don't you do it no more. Don't do it no more. Don't you do it no more. Don't do it anymore. Can't help but remember something. If you continue to do it, we see it. And he see it. The Bible said the eyes of the Lord is in every place. Behold the evil and the good. In the book of Revelation, Jesus had was seven churches. Only two had a good report. The other five, Jesus said, I got something against you. And he told them to repent. What he had against them was they sinned. And he told them to repent quickly. Unless you repent. Repent quickly. That means stop doing what Jesus got against you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And some say, well, I don't do this and I don't do that. Well, all unrighteousness is sin. There's no big sin and little sin. Now you repent of your sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. To take away your sin. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. And he will remember them no more. Now, don't you do it no more. In the book of uh, Romans chapter 3, how do you, about verse 20, 21, 22, he say, faith is his blood. Do you have faith in Jesus' blood? For the remission of sin that are past. Man, everything you done. That was wrong. I don't care who it was. I was talking to somebody on yesterday. In the day before yesterday. I said, yeah, you see me now. Yeah, you, know, you you see me, uh, uh, my ministry, and I'm uh, teaching the word, preaching the word. Uh, yeah, you see me now, but uh, you didn't know me back then. I told somebody yesterday. I highly, uh, I said, I said, I did some, I I did some dirt in my day. I would, I would, I would never don't want to hurt nobody. But ooh, I did some dirt. Hallelujah! I sinned. Some of the things I tell you I done, you wouldn't believe. I had someone tell me that one time. I can't believe you did that. Yes, I did. But all that's in the past. And Christ's blood, Christ don't remember all that stuff I did in the past. Because I'm not doing that stuff in the past no more. Folks say you can't don't care about you my past against me. But they can bring your present up. What you doing now? Glory to God. You have no business with no parents sin. How you ain't obeying God? How you ain't keeping his commandments? Jesus said, if you love me, keep my command. Oh, praise God. Let's let go. Let's go. How did that go right away? Why did the Pharisees 
try to tempt Jesus. Try to tempt Jesus. Why did they do that? Why? Why was that? Why did they try to tempt Jesus? I want you to think on this. And we're coming back to it. They tempt you too. The same way they tried to tempt Jesus is the same way they tried to tempt you. The same way they tried to, the, even Satan tried to tempt Jesus, tempt me, tempted it me, it, it this point me to try, to try. Praise God. Hallelujah. The same reason they tried Jesus, tempted Jesus, is the same reason they tried you and tempt you. For the same reason. Let go away. Get your Bible. Oh, I'm going to show you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We better begin with Matthew. Let go to 16 and 1. Glory to God. And we drink some water. This broadcast is pre recorded. When you see it, God willing, it's Sunday. When we're doing it, it's 9 09 a.m. Sunday, the past week. <laughs> Hallelujah. 9 09 a.m. Sunday. April 3rd. When you see it, I believe it'll be Sunday, April what, 10th, 11th. Ah. Glory to God. Go to Matthew 16. Let's start there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 16 and 1. Matthew 16 and 1. Watch this. Well, I don't want that. I don't want that yet. I don't want that one yet. We we got we gotta get 1622. Get your Bible and read with us. What Jesus was talking talk about, praise God, the type of death he was going to suffer. Peter got in the way and said, Lord, not so. And Jesus rebuked him. All right. Go to, I call him to put this up. 19 and 3, Matthew 19 3. Glory to God. In Matthew 19, 3, it says, The Pharisees also came unto Jesus, tempted him, said unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife in every call? Look what Jesus said. He answered and said unto them, Have you not read? that he would make them at the beginning, make them male and female, and said, for this call shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain but one flesh, for devil God is joined together, let no man put asunder, they say unto him. Why did Moses did they command to give a right and under for me to put all away there? They brought up Moses. <laughs> we going somewhere. Go to John chapter 8. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. John chapter 8 and verse 4. They said unto Jesus, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded that Moses again, that there is Moses again. <laughs> uh, you see them bring up Moses again. Now, command to stone her. Now, we want to go glory to God. You see them through up Moses again? Now let's go to Remember Go to Matthew 22 Glory to God We're going somewhere Matthew 22, verse 33. And when the month two heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. Back up. <coughs> Back up. 23, 22, 23, Matthew 22, 23. Well, 23, 17. 22, 17, Matthew. They said, tell us therefore, what thing is thou? Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? And they perceived their wickedness. They were up to some. And saying, why tip ye me, you hypocrites? They were up no good. Show me a tribute money. They brought him a penny. He said, uh, they, who's him is, who's him is on subscription? They said, Caesar. Then he said unto them, read unto Caesar, the thing that are Caesar. And real to God to think that I God. Holy right there. Holy right there. God pitches not on no money. We want to, we want to by the Holy Ghost perceive your wickedness. God pitch ain't on no money. Jesus pitch ain't on no money. So you ain't rendering no money to God. They want to throw it. They want to throw it out there and slap it, 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 it slap it in your face right there. Some of y'all have said that, you hypocrite. Well, really, see the word, see the word of God, what God? God pitch ain't on no money. All right. He perceived that wickedness. Glory to God. Praise God. All right. And when they heard these things, these words, they marveled <laughs> and left him with their way. All right. Let's go here. 23. The same day came to him, Sadducee, which say that there is no real erection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Watch it. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the brethren, when he had married a wife, deceased having no issue, left his wife unto uh, his brother. Likewise, the second also, the third unto the seventh. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, who wife shall she be of the seventh? And they, for they all had her. 
Jesus answered and said unto them, You err not knowing the scripture, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but, at, but are as angels of God in heaven. I want to put a pin right there. Your wife ain't going to be your wife in here. Your wife ain't going to be your wife in here. Your husband ain't going to be your husband in here. Oh, they're my husband. Oh, they're my first. They're my second. They, but are as angels of God in heaven. Can I tell you something? If your kin folks in here, they ain't going to be your kin folk. You're not going to know them as your kin folk. But shall be as angels. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But that turned the resurrection of the dead. Have you not read? Which was spoken of you by God said, I'm the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. So when you resurrect it, you're alive again. <laughs> Don't you say when well, you're dead to die, glory to God. And with a bunch who heard it, they were astonished at his doctrine. 34, but when the Pharisee, we still in Matthew 22, and when the Pharisee heard that he put the Sadducee to south, stopped a rod mouth. Oh, we stopped many mouths. I would talk to a cousin of mine this weekend, <coughs> this past week. And I was telling him when I first got on Facebook, many ministers rose up. And we stopped, and some of them were friends of mine. And we stopped their rotten mouth with the Bible. And some got mad at me and still mad. We stopped pastor's mouth and bishop mouth with the Bible. And some didn't like that. <clears throat> then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him, tempted him. Here it is again. Master, which is the great commandment of the law? Jesus said to him, God said, Lord, Lord, that God with all that heart, with all that, with all that soul, with all that mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto this. God said, Lord, that they bet thyself. On oh, these two commandments, hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were, were gathered together, Jesus asked them. And, and we, we, gave, we gave enough, enough example. Now, now let's come on to the reason that they tempted him. What they hoped to gain. What they wanted to prove. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, watch this. You, you, you're talking about everything. You let get to the meat of the whole matter. I have several. My God, yeah. come on, and how we stop all prophet mouth, and they come out. Why don't you go and debate Gino Kennedy? Why don't you come and do? I say, I say, let me ask you a question. I just gave scripture. Is the scripture right? I gave. And they answered me not a word. Stop they rod mouth. Jesus said, 42 of the 22nd chapter of Matthew, what think ye of Christ? Now, what you think about Christ? Who is Jesus? Whose son is he? That's what Jesus asked them. Uh -huh. And this is the purpose 
of them tempting Jesus, they want to prove and show that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. That's the purpose. Forty one, verse forty one of the twenty second chapter of Matthew. And while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question. What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? <laughs> they say unto him, the son of David. Oh. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto them, How then does David in the spirit call him Lord? Saying, the Lord said to my Lord, sit down on my right hand till I make thine enemy thy footstool. If David didn't call him Lord, how is he his son? <laughs> and no man was able to answer him a word. Neither did any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. That 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 was that was the purpose. Let's go and see where the apostles brought up that same scripture. Go to the day of Pentecost, I believe. Acts chapter 10. <laughs> oh, Lord. My, 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 my. Acts chapter 2. And verse 24. Talk about Jesus now. Let's begin with 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you and you yourself also know, and you know this. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and for knowledge of God, ye have taken him by wicked hand and crucified and slain. <laughs> Whom God had raised up, having loosed the pain of death, because it was not possible that he should be holy of it. Whom God, 25, for David speaking, remember, simply sit down my right hand. My Lord says, my Lord, for David speaking concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face. For he is on my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Remember, David said, For the law is with me. <laughs> Therefore, did my heart rejoice, my tongue was glad moreover. Also, my flesh shall rest in hope. Because that will not lead. My soul in hell, neither would I suffer thine holy one to see corruption. You won't suffer thine holy one. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy in thy countenance. Being and brother, let me speak freely unto you. Of the patriarch David, who is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre to this day, therefore being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn, and over him that of the fruit of his Lord, according to the flesh, according to the flesh, now he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He said this before spake of the resurrection of Christ. Uh -huh. that his soul would not be left in hell, 
Neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus, not this body, this Jesus had God raised up where are we all with us. Therefore, being by the right hand of God. Who is Jesus? By the right hand of God. Not the real God, but by the right hand of God. Exalted. Have received a promise, received of the Father, the promise of the Holy Ghost. He has shed forth this which ye now see and hear. For David is not a sinner to him. But he said himself, the Lord said to my Lord, sit thou on my right hand. Uh, you see what we, just, what, what we just read back in Matthew? God was talking about Jesus. Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy fold thy footstool. Devil in all the house of the river, knowing sure that God had made the same Jesus, who ye could divide both Lord and Christ. What was the purpose of the temptation? <clears throat> what was the purpose? Hallelujah. The purpose of the temptation. Ha, let, let, let's go here. Let, let, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. John 5.31. Here's the purpose of the temptation. It's it, it, it the same in the same way the so-called so-called Jesus all the apostolic faith. Change your Lord Jesus Christ in others. So I baptized one in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't even believe that the Father sent the Son, and you don't believe that the Father raised the Son, Jesus, from the grave, and you don't believe that Jesus is on the Father's right hand. You ain't baptized one in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, or in the name of Lord Jesus, because you, uh, you are non believer. <coughs> Uh, what did we say? Five. Five thirty-one. Uh, here's the problem. Eight, eight, let's start with eighteen. Five eighteen. Therefore, the Jews sought more to kill him because he not only had broken the Sabbath. But said also that God was his father. Jesus said God was his father, making himself equal with God. Yeah, God, my father. No, not Joseph, God. Did as Jesus said unto them in verse 19, very, very Isaiah to you, the son can't do nothing of himself, but what he seeth, the father do. For what the so well he do it, these also do the song likewise. The song do just like his father. For the father loveth the song. It is say the father is the son. And showing them all things that himself do it. And he was showing great words in thee that ye may mock. For as the father raised it up the dead and quickened them, even so the son quickened who he will. For the Father judges no man, but had committed all judgment unto, unto the Son. Committed all judgment to the Son. I, th I thought y'all said, I had a preacher tell me, see, Jesus don't judge. And the Father judges no man, but committed all judgment to the Son. That all men should honor the Son. Even as they honor the Father. 
He that honored not the Son, honored not the Father, that's what sent him. You don't honor the Son, you don't honor the Father. Do you say one one play? They don't even know me or my father. All right. The best way I tell you, he that heareth my word and believeth and believeth on him that sent me. Had the everlasting life, it shall not come into condemnation, but it path of death to life. You don't believe that the Father sent the Son, you don't believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you don't believe that, you condemn. Best way I said you now will come in now here. When the dead shall hear the voice of the of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father had light in itself, so had he given, he given, he given to the Son to have life in himself. All right. And he had given him authority to execute judgment also. Wait a minute, I thought I was saying son on judgment. Because he is the son of man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, and with all that were in the grave shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto resurrection of life, they that have done evil unto resurrection of damnation. I can on my own self do nothing. As I as I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which sent me. If I be the bad will of myself, my witness is not true. Therefore, another that bad witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witness of me is true, ye shall the John, and he bad witness to the truth. But I receive not testimony from man. But these things I say that ye may be saved. Pray, Lord. 36. But I have a greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father have given me to finish the same work that I do, by witness of me that the Father have sent me. We'll leave it there. We go for it. The reason. The purpose of the temptation was the same purpose that Satan tempted Jesus. Satan's the purpose of the purpose. If thou be the son of God, they wanted to prove that Jesus is not the son of God. Even when they brought the woman called in a dutch. Moses said, cried the end of the law, right? Jesus ain't father little Moses. Jesus ain't father no Moses. Moses spoke about Jesus coming. Okay, Moses said, so do it. So that means Jesus not the son of God. That means Jesus yielded to Moses. Moses said, uh, 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 put away your wife and all that kind of thing. Okay, put it away. <laughs> put it away with every call. Uh-huh. They were trying to prove Jesus is not the Son of God. If Jesus told him, okay, follow Moses, obey Moses, Jesus said, I can't fulfill the law. Jesus told him to obey Moses. Jesus said, follow him. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. All these mummy full of it, which I read in the law most. And then the property of the song, sorry to me. That's the purpose of the temptation. To prove that Jesus is not the Son of God. The same way apostolic faith. And Jesus is only so called. And oneness. And lying about. You 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 act two third eight hypocrite lies. Oh, there's that title. You try to prove Jesus not the Son of God. You say Jesus is God. You try to prove Jesus not the Son of God. You say God name is Jesus. You try to prove Jesus Christ not the Son of God. 
Uh huh. And they try, and that's why they told the, they stole the, uh, kill James and hallelujah. Pray God and stole Stephen because they were preaching Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That's why they told the disciples don't preach nor teach no more that night. The same reason trying to prove Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. They don't want to hear that. But that's the purpose of the temptation to prove that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. But Jesus brought him to open shame. For he rose. God raised him from the dead. And people saw him. God raised him from the dead. And miracles still happened. <laughs> and they pointed to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the purpose. To prove Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. That was the devil's purpose. That's the apostolic faith. If this don't apply to you, it don't apply to you. But this the apostolic faith purpose. To the Lord Jesus Christ. Act 238, hypocrites. To prove Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. You are a hypocrite. You are a Pharisee. You are a Sadducee. You are an enemy of the cross. All right, let's leave it right there. God, no. That's enough. We can go for it, but that's enough. The reason they tempted Jesus is the same reason, is the same purpose. Satan tempted him. Because Satan said, if thou be the Son of God, so all y'all temptation, you son of God haters. Where is Jesus Christ, son of God now? Son of God hater. It, it, uh, well, bounce his flesh and blood up in him. So Jesus ain't up in him. Son of God haters. What nature is he up in him? You son of God haters. <laughs> If thou be the son of God, that's the purpose of them tempting Jesus to prove he wasn't the son of God. And Jesus, and they was a liar. For he is the son of God. He is a liar. And on the right hand of the Father. And right there is through him by faith without the deeds of the law. All right. God bless you. He'll take away all your sin if you believe. If you repent, if you call on him, continue in his word. That's enough. The purpose of the, uh, 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 of the temptation of Christ and the temptation of you and the temptation of me. Remember, uh, 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 no temptation have taken you that that was come to man, but with every temptation. Hallelujah, God provide a way of escape. Hallelujah. Without sin. Hallelujah. That's the purpose. That's the reason apostles persecuted and beat and killed and some of it. That's the purpose. Because of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. They want to stop that message. They want to stamp that out. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's been tried. You can't do it. Praise God. All right. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Hypocrite don't like it. Your pastor don't like it. You don't like it. <laughs> Educate your food line one. You were some of you said God Christ in other place. Jesus is God. You try to prove Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. God himself came down here. You try to prove Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. There's only one God, and his name is Jesus. You try to prove Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. And that was the purpose of the Pharisees and Satan trying to tempt Jesus. That was the goal, to prove you were not the Son of God. But they failed. Thank you for being